Hello, this is the second video on our analytical and logical reasoning series. We will work on another set of questions here. Now, eight county teams, Kent, Essex, Somerset, Durham, Hampshire, Yorkshire, Derbyshire and Lancashire participated Yorkshire, Derbyshire and Lancashire participated in a 2020 tournament held in London. In the first round, these eight teams were divided into two groups of four teams each. Each team had has to play two matches against each of the other teams in its group. The teams with the highest and the second highest number of wins in both the group will, become, uh, will move to the next round, that is semi-finals. It is known that Essex, Yorkshire, Lancashire and Derbyshire reached the semi-finals. It is also known that in the first round, no match ended in a tie and in each of the groups, each of the four teams won a different number of matches. Yorkshire lost both its matches against Derbyshire. Kent won the same number of matches that by Lancashire. In its group, Somerset lost more, both of its match against all the other teams except Durham, which in turn won at least one match against each of the other teams except one. Now, the first question says, which team won the highest number of matches in the first round? First, we need to solve the complete question to answer the given questions. Uh, given that Essex, Yorkshire, Lancashire and Derbyshire reached the semi-finals as given in the question, hence Kent Somerset, Durham and Hampshire are eliminated in the first round. It is also given Yorkshire played against Derbyshire. Hence Yorkshire and Derbyshire must be the two of one group. Therefore Lancashire and Essex must be the two teams of the other group. As Kent has same number of wins as Lancashire they must be in different groups as it is already given that no team in a group has won the same number of matches therefore Kent and Hampshire are the losing teams in the group from, who, uh, from which Yorkshire and Derbyshire qualified and Durham and Somerset are the eliminated teams in the group from which Essex and Lancashire qualified. The groups can be classified as follows. Qualified for semis, Lancashire, Essex, Yorkshire, Derbyshire. Eliminated in the first round, it was Somerset and Durham for the first group and Kent and Hampshire for the second group. Now, the total number of matches in each group is equal to four uh, uh, is equal to 12 as each team plays every other team given each of them has a different number of wins so the possibilities are as follows number of wins qualified teams for qualified teams and eliminated teams highest it can be six then second highest become four these are the different combinations that can happen for eliminated teams third highest second fourth i guess uh, zero or the combination can be six three two one or five four two one or five four three zero as kent which is eliminated has the same number of wins as lancashire which qualified the only possibility that can be considered are second and fourth In the group of Kent, Yorkshire must have lost only the matches against Derbyshire. That is, it must have won four matches. Derbyshire must have won both the matches against Yorkshire, both against Hampshire and one against Kent. So, 
Similarly, Kent won both the matches against Hampshire and won against Derbyshire, and Hampshire lost all the matches. In the group of Lancashire, Essex won all the matches. Lancashire, Essex won all the matches. Lancashire won both the matches against Somerset and won against Durham. Durham won one against Lancashire and one against Somerset and Somerset won against Durham. Let's get back to the questions now. Which team won the highest number of matches in the first round? Now it has been seen that Essex won the maximum number of matches in the first round. So answer is choice 3. Second question says what was the total number of matches won by Durham in the first round? Now the number of matches won by Durham is 2. So the choice is 3. This is our answer. Last question. Which team lost at least one match against Kent in the first round? It has been proven that Hampshire and Derbyshire lost at least one match against Kent. So the choice is fourth which is our answer. So I, I would end here and there would be more, many more such videos to better prepare you for aptitude. Thank you.